Hey, how's it going? I'm just walking down 6th Ave showing how one of the more happening places in Tacoma is is a ghost town pretty much except traffic a little bit have a few cars but uh, yeah the bars are are closed it's around 1130 when filming this maybe it's 1140 somewhere around there and uh, anyway You know, it, it's... I hope things don't get to a point where they have to have government-enforced quarantines, where it, it's, for all intents and purposes, a form of martial law. I hope it doesn't come to that. If it does, it does. But one of the things that I worry about, if that if that happens is the whole boogaloo thing, the electric boogaloo the people who will take arms against the government man that would be ugly you know hopefully it won't ever come to that, hopefully the soft quarantine that's going on will be good enough. Was reading about how Tom Hanks and his wife are doing, and they seem to be doing all right. They don't seem to be having the worst of the symptoms. Which is good. Well, obviously it's good. I don't know why I said that, but... Passing by a place right now, I can't remember the name of it, that usually has people at it. Um, we can hope that... We can hope that most of the people who get it here in Tacoma don't end up with the worst of the symptoms. Tom Hanks and his wife kind of give me a little bit of hope. Because I have a feeling that it's going to be the majority of people eventually getting it. Will our healthcare system be able to handle that? You just don't know. It's definitely smart to close the bars and restaurants and big gathering places and gyms, and it's smart. As I said, though, I hope they don't. Do some sort of... I forgot the word, it's such a simple word. Curfew. <laughs> Uh, it's stupid how I forget simple words sometimes. Yeah, I hope they don't do some sort of curfew thing here. Because, I mean, as you can see, there's... In the places that are normally having a lot of people, there's no one here because there's nowhere for them to hang out, so...
I kind of feel about curfews the same way I do about checkpoints. I'm just not into the government telling people how to live. Especially when it's not really going to do much good, you know? I mean, I guess I could understand it in places like New York City, where the, you know, the city that never sleeps, but... And as I said, I also, you know, I, I understand doing it to try to cut back on crime, because there's going to be a lot of people, a lot of people who are out of work, a lot of very desperate people, It's likely going to get ugly in the future. So I guess, you know, the more we can cut back on that, on the ugliness, the better. So... I don't know. Tell you though, the, this it's all that's been on my mind. I can't seem to I can't seem to get it off my mind. Here comes O'Malley's. It would usually be could be at least something happened in there right now normally, but I guess I'll go to the other side of the street and uh, head back to the vehicle. Not that it's on that side, but at least so you can get a view of something else as, <laughs> as I'm walking, so. We certainly live in interesting times. Just how many people that will be out of work? The things that Trump is doing is, does not seem like it's going to be enough. I think it's going to reflect very poorly on the Trump administration. Very poorly. I was looking at some footage. Maybe I'll leave a link to it in the description bar. Of uh, Fox News and other right-wing pundits. Before, you know, early in March, as compared to later in March. Early in March, they were just backing up anything that Trump said, suggesting that, oh no, the coronavirus isn't really a, a threat. We're getting it under control. There's no problem. Nothing to worry about here. And then afterwards, them showing a lot of concern. Hi. And it just seems that Fox News is a wing of the Trump administration. And granted, some people will say that MSNBC and CNN are a wing of the Democratic Party and there could be some truth to that. But it's not to the extreme of, uh, of how Fox News just backs up anything that Trump says.
What is this place? Oh, it's, it's a weed store. That's why there are some people still there. Interesting. They're open until midnight, or usually they are. Looked like that one was kind of closed, but there were still some people hanging out outside smoking cigarettes. I think it was cigarettes. I didn't smell weed. But yeah, let's let's hope they don't have to go to a hard quarantine, a lockdown, a form of martial law. Let's hope it doesn't come to that. But it might. And if it does, things are going to get pretty ugly. I was reading an article about how... Well... It was originally from some Twitter posts, but they led to articles talking about how in Italy there's this oh what do you call it it's it's something that allows a ventilator to work and they didn't they didn't have enough of them to save some, uh, uh, at least 10 people's lives. And so some people decided to 3D print them. And now the company that owns the patent for those things are gonna try to sue them. Even though they, they people tried to get them from the company legitimately, but they're like, no, we, we can't make them in that much time. So now they're going to try to sue because people 3D printed something that normally costs $10,000 for these stupid little plastic things. And the more stories I hear like that, the more I... the more disappointed I am in capitalism, you know? the more that I can relate with the people who preach against capitalism. I mean, what can be done to stop that kind of behavior? Anyway, if you've watched this far, thanks for watching and I wish you the best and safe paths.